righty, here we are at the Crystal Clear Point Studio. And if you'll notice, it's just two faces here, two happy, lovely faces. Dr. Matthew Pearson, Deborah Colleen Rose, and Miss Luann is out with her friends today. <laughs> she doesn't love us anymore. She's out drinking. <laughs> Let's all have a drink. Salute. Salute. <laughs> so... I love our introduction video, not because it's my face on there part of the time, but I love the music. I love the way it all comes together. And the reason I'm mentioning it is because Dr. Matthew actually did that for us because he's like, Deborah, you're really good for an amateur, but let the professional handle it. And I'm like, handle it, Roy, handle it. <laughs> <laughs> And the reason I bring that up is that I have act, act, asked Matthew to tell us about his other business. Then how we came to meet was because of this business and to tell us what he does, because I am fascinated by what he does. I can't do what he does, which makes me jealous. And three, he's really good at what he does and has done a great job for me. And I want to share that with the world. So what are we talking about? Tell them what we're talking about. Well, are we talking about readings or are we talking about the website? And, and no, we're talking about the websites. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I mean I've been doing uh, graphic design and, and website design like way back. I mean, for many, 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 many years. Um, and so, you know, being in corporate America, I mean, I have had you know experience working with Fortune 500 companies. Uh, doing branding and uh, uh, creating website applications, uh, you know, anything from like uh, billboards to, you know, to uh, it, just car signage. Um, so, I mean, I've, I've done a little bit of everything and, uh, you know, got to the point where I was done with corporate America and I wanted to do it for myself. And so that's when I, you know, kind of started my own thing. Um, Connections Design Studios is a part of the other company, um, uh, I guess my, my, I guess the the mother company of metaphysical events. And that's kind of how we met. Um, we kind of got introduced through, you know, the event planning and like doing, you know, different events and so on and so forth. So uh, that started the conversation and that's how we started talking. So that, I mean, that's kind of what I do. Um, but what he did for me, what he did for Miles of Smiles is he went in and redid our website. Um, I had a cute little website. I did it myself Good. for someone who knows nothing about building websites and uses templates and all that stuff. I thought I did a decent job. And um, But a website can look great, but if it doesn't get any traffic to it, there's no point no. to it. And so we got to talking one day. And he started explaining things to me. And I realized I had just enough information to be dangerous to myself. And so we talked and we talked and I liked what he said and I liked how he said it. And it made sense to me. And I'm like, handle it. I really did. I said, handle it, Roy. <laughs> and I love our new website. It's very clear. It's very concise. Um, I, to me, it gives you enough information without being overwhelming. I go to other people's websites and you feel like you get lost. You know, and I don't think that we get lost on our website. Um, we are going to have to add another page. Aren't we adding another page? Yep. We are adding okay. another page, yes. So we're going to add another page, but it's still very, you know, short and clear and concise. And But there's tons of information there, but it's all right there at your fingertips, literally. And so I'm excited to see what he does with that. But what amazed me is that Matthew went in there and said, this is what you're getting on your website now. How, and it was like one person a month. I don't know. It was, it was an outrageously low number and was able to show me why. I like knowing why. Being an investigator, being inquisitive, I like knowing the why. So not that it makes a difference probably, but I like knowing. And so within a week, we went from like nothing to, I mean, it was outrageous, like five people every minute. Um, it was, well, I, I mean, it, your increase in traffic was 930% um, from what you had um, in the first week. Um, so, I mean, you had over a thousand vis visitors in one day when the website went live. A so, thousand, I mean, a thousand. Okay. So you're just a bunch of nosy people out there, but I'm glad you know, you're coming to see us. So yeah. Just well, I mean, I have to say that you were doing the right things. You had the right things set up in order for that to happen. I mean, you were posting on Facebook, 
you're posting on your social media. And so, you know, leveraging all of that, you know, including, you know, now having a, a website that, you know, is better, you know, um, search engine optimized, et cetera, you know, to help you rank very, very quickly. So, well, you know. I, I was thrilled. I really was thrilled with that. It was nice to know that, that there were some things that I was already doing well because, it, and it was instinctively, you know, it just, you know, made sense to me to do it that way. And there's still things I need to improve on, but I get lazy and, or I forget, or, you know, I do 99.9% .9 of my social media from my phone and that can get very frustrating at times. And, sure. you know, but I mean, just following his simple directions has just made so much more sense. And I have even ventured into TikTok because of it. My God, my daughter's been trying to get me on TikTok for years. And I'm like, no, that's scary. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, but what's really great about you is that, I mean, the, the you are, the, you're teachable. I mean, and you'll you'll be able to, you know, to take and, and utilize small little changes um, that will help you out in the, in the long run. Okay. Um, it's like little tips and tricks that, that I have learned through my years of experience you know, in, in, in helping people rank their websites and, and get their websites visible, you know, that if you just change, you know, a couple of little things, it's going to increase, you know, your, your reach inside of like Google and a lot of the different search engines. Well, and, and let me say this about you. This just occurred to me right now. So I got to get it off my chest. Um, you know, a lot of different companies will advertise as being a one-stop shop. Okay. One-stop shops, initially are attractive because we all get tired of shopping and, and, you know, doing comparisons and things like this. But what I have found in the past was service industries, when you do a one-stop shop, what they do is they put together a little package that they do well, and it makes sense to them. And they will bend over backwards and kiss their own butt to sell you on that package being the mm -hmm. best thing for you. And you, you'll get like one really great service out of that. And the rest is pretty mediocre. With Matthew, he is a one-stop shop, but he is not a, a one-trick pony, right. so to say, speak. So he'll sit there and go, now we can do this, this, or this, and then we do this, and then we do this, this, or this. So you got three options here, and mm -hmm. then we have these options here, and then we can also tie this into your physical media or your physical advertising like coffee mugs, T-shirts, you know, right. business cards, and we can do it this way. And- the thing I like as a consumer of anything is I like options and mm -hmm. I like to do comparisons. And that's what Matthew does. He comes and says, we can do this or we can do this or we can do this. And it's not like this is package A and this is the platinum right. and this is package B and it's the gold and this is package C, the silver, where you feel like you're getting less. It's all good packages. It's just depending on what you want to put into it. And the effort and, you know, and what you're trying to accomplish. So I never felt like I was being sold up or sold down. I was just being provided for. Yeah. And I really like that. Well, I mean, that's kind of what stands, I mean, Connections Design Studios, that's how we stand apart from a lot of people because we realize that your business and everything that you're doing for your business is an extension of your energy. It's an extension of who you are. And so we can't really offer a package that, you know, we've pre-designed, you know, for the people that we work with, um, because your, you know, the, the stuff that we did for you is not going to work for other people. So each individual client we take and we evaluate, like, what is going to be the best services for you? How are we going to best place you? You know, what are we going to do for you that is going to, you know, make you stand apart from your competition? So oh, I, mean, oh, I got to tell them about this. I got to tell them about this. This okay. is so cool. This is so freaking cool. So as we started the process, Matthew looked at my website and I'm like, that's all he has to do. He looks at my website and he'll come back and he'll tell me, so, oh, no, 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 no. We had to have a conversation about what was important to me and how did I think? And, you know, that was a rabbit hole, you know, because he opened up a door. And the next thing you know, we're on you know, the interdimensional plane talking about God knows what. And we found out that we had a lot of things in common. So that was really nice. And then this is what blew me away. And this is really what sold me. I'll be honest, is he goes, I need you to send me photographs or pictures or paintings that speak to you. 
And he didn't say how they speak to me. Just they mean something to you. And man, I sent him some really frilly nilly stuff, some really dark shit. I mean, all kinds of stuff. And then he came back with like, I think five, maybe six color palettes Mm -hmm. and says, which of these speak to you? And I'm like, well, gee, and and I even told him, I said, well, I don't like this one at all. And he goes, well, that's really odd because that was in a lot of the paintings that you picked. And it was, but that it, it didn't seem to speak to me as overall as what I connected to, I guess, for lack lack of better explanation. So Mm -hmm. I found the one that, that, really spoke to me and that's the colors he used on my website and so then the little stinker he he puts up a, a you know a, a template or a, you know a sample of it and we happen to know a lot of the same people and he says what do you think about this is does this say deborah to you and i said oh yeah you got her you mm-hmm. got her you got her and then i got to see it <laughs> you know <laughs> Now that's customer service. I don't care what you say. I mean, that's getting to truly not just the heart of your consumer. That's getting into the spirit, you know. And that's the that's what we go for. I mean, I mean, you can do sales all day long, but if you don't get someone, I mean, if you don't really get their energy and 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 what it is that they're trying to convey, you know, to the world, it's very difficult, you know. So you know, that's how I like to start out because that shows me your energy it shows me like what energy you want to put out to the world what draws you what motivates you um you know I, i've had some people that we've done this with and they're like no 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 and then we kind of do a, a package you know with them you know as far as like a website and show them and they're like that is me that is me and so that's kind of what we like to do is we just really like to, you know, customize, you know, we, we do, I mean, as far as templates and things like that, you know, we'll use a template, but everything in it is custom. Everything is custom. So that's, that's kind of our, our philosophy is, you know, we're going to, we're going to suit things to you. We're going to suit things to how you want to do business. So. Oh, and I'm a dangerous consumer now with his education because like I have, you know, people, you get those standard emails where they want to do your website. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course I just ignore those. And then, but I actually called a company the other day that sent me an email about wanting to do my SEOs. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm like, so how would you do my SEOs in, and they go, well, you go to your website and we'll pull the key things. And I was like, but yeah, how do you know that those key phrases on my website are the right phrases? Are you going to analyze my website? Are you going to make recommendations for the changes? Or are you going to change the phraseology on there? Because maybe you'll get me great SEO for phrases that are not even important to me because I've right. done my website wrong. And they're like, what are you talking about? What is the deal? They were freaking out. No, but and that's, that's a me. great point. That's a great point, Deborah. I mean, because... A lot of these places will go and they'll say they'll do the SEO for you. However, if they don't do like the research, the keyword research and like, what are you trying to accomplish? They're not going to be able to rank you where you need to be inside of, you know, the the search engines, period, end of story. Um, You know, you're adding a new service, a new product. Okay. And so how are we going to leverage that into the marketplace? How are we going to market that to, you know, to, to get it ranked higher in Google when people are searching for things? Um, you know, if you're not on top of the SEO and you're not on top of doing the research behind the business, you're not going to rank. So you can't offer a package that says, hey, we'll take your SEO and we'll, you know, we'll continue on it. Your business is constantly changing. So, you know, we'll, we'll be doing SEO. I, I look at your website every single day. I mean, I, I go through and I, I look at like how it's performing. I'm a numbers guy. I like to look at numbers. I like to see, you know, what's performing, what's not performing. I can tell you what pages inside of your website are doing better than the others. Um, and then I can make recommendations from like, well, what do we need to change? Either adjusting a, a description, taking and changing up a picture, you know, something of that nature, I know, you know, and I think that that's what people need to look for when they're looking for someone to do their website is that they're going to be active. They're not going to be passive. They're going to be active in helping your business. Well, it's called caring. (laughs) Hello. Absolutely. Yeah. 
So we know that the colors on the website are important. We know that the content and the actual verbiage is important. You just can't go, hey, we do this, come call us. We know that that ties in with the SEO placement. So an SEO is about how people find you on the internet and how easy it is to find you and how quickly you pop up. So what about branding, Matthew? How, how does all this tie together with the branding? Okay, well, branding, I mean, branding is kind of your image, okay? Um, and your image is what you kind of portray out to the world. Um, kind of think of it as your your stamp or your you know your the icon that you use. Um, you know we when we think of brands we think of like Nike, we think of Coca Cola. I mean if I said Snickers you would be able to to conjure up the image of a Snickers bar in your head because of their branding. They have their colors, they have the way that their text is, they have you know a logo. You know if I said Nike people are going to get the Nike swoosh. You know, um, so all of those things go behind you to like kind of like solidify that in people's brains. OK, um, you know, when we first started working together, I'm, I'm going to tattle on you. Um, uh oh, you had like well, you had you had a logo, um, but you had like five different variations of that logo. Oh, my um, God. And I still hear about this. <laughs> and um, well, I mean, but but the thing is, the thing is. With with that being said, I mean, you want your logo to be consistent. You know, if people started like inverting the Nike logo, it would get noticed right away. OK, and so that's what I mean when I was saying, you know, we established your logo and we kept with that. Um, and now people are starting to recognize your logo. You know, people would actually say, well, why is she do why is she using this logo? Because that's not her logo. OK. That's actually a good sign because <laughs> people are recognizing that, wait a second, that's not that's that's not her. But that's funny because I never noticed the differences mm -hmm. in any of those logos. So because I, I, I'm i not that type of visual. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm about colors and proportions. And what and I think the biggest mistake I made in my initial logo is it's black and white. Right. I think mm -hmm. I should have had more color in my logo. So we may need to think about that later on. But, you know. We can. Uh, I mean, and, and don't get me wrong about you know the, the colors. I mean, honestly, you can have a black and white logo that's perfect, you know. Um, but your colors, you know, your colors are are who you are as well. So you know, if we ever redesigned your logo, we would definitely incorporate the colors that are on your website or the palette that we just established for your brand. Well, just a little backstory on this, since Smiles of Smiles is sponsoring this. <laughs> is that Miles of Smiles actually was generated over six or seven years ago by a friend of mine who wanted me to go into this business on my own. And I was quite comfortable in my very uh, unique situation working for another company, but she paid for the logo. She established the business name. She opened up a bank account. She went and got us registered on a bunch of different directories. And then I just let it lay there. It just sat mm -hmm. there. So when circumstances changed and I was forced to either make a decision to either get out of the gig business or I had to step forward, then all that was already in place. So I just used what I had. And over the years, we had cut and pasted the logo and screenshotted the logo and all this other stuff. That's how we wound up with so many different versions of it. And I didn't even think about it. And Matthew called me, why are you using that logo? I gave you a perfectly wonderful logo and fixed it. And why aren't you using it? <laughs> you know, but honestly, they were, that's what happens. You know, people, you know, it's like they, they establish something and it's just like, they don't, they stop thinking about it. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, we, I, in my company, you know, I have run into so many people that have like, they don't think about it. They don't think about the brand or how they're going to brand themselves. Um, and I'm going to be the first person. I'm probably going to get like a lot of hate mail for this, you know, but the first thing that they want to do is go to Canva, um, you know, type in logo and, and, and pull a logo. And the thing that I don't like about that is that it, it's not you. Okay. You're using designs of other people to mash something together to create like a brand for yourself. Sometimes it works, but you know, nine times out of 10, I can look at a logo and I can go, that's a Canva logo because the elements are, you know, are, are still, you know, Canva elements. 
And so, you know, I want to make sure that your branded is unique to your energy and to your business. Um, and so there are certain design elements that I always look for, you know, um, you know, with yours, it's the movement, it's the, the roundness, it's the fullness, it's the, you know, um, how, how things, yeah, well, I mean, how, how things are put together, you know, um, it's, to me, I mean, to me, the, the logo works. Um, you have competition, you know, with people that, you know, are in dentistry, you know, miles of smiles. And what sets your logo apart is that it's not using teeth, you know? Oh, no. Ooh, um, ooh, yeah, ooh. exactly. I mean, it, but it doesn't have any kind of like medical type, you know, imagery in it or, or what have you. And so all of that needs to be taken into account when people are designing their logos. And sometimes they don't. Um, so some, I put a lot of thought behind logos and branding, um, because I want that to speak to the, to like the public. So talking a little bit more about the branding, one of the things that I did to kind of, uh, solidify my, uh, character or my persona as an entertainer is, and also kind of to identify myself as I like to wear a lot of hats. Now I don't wear a hat to every event, uh, but I try to, you know, and what I found on a personal basis is that I really like wearing hats. I should do that. And I even do it now in my private life, not just in my entertainment stuff, but would you consider that to be part of my brand wearing the hat is, or is that just something different? Well, as we've had a conversation about this, you know, previously, you know, Deborah Rose, is just Deborah Rose, but Deborah Colleen Rose, you know, is like really your brand. And so if you start talking about Deborah Colleen Rose, I mean, she's the person that wears hats. She's the person that, you know, wears the great glasses. She's the person that, you know, has a, a, a zebra rug behind her. I mean, it, you know, it, it's all about you. Um, it's how you brand yourself. Okay. And that's you individually. Um, and so I'm, I, uh, I told you like, hey, listen, you know, we can have your brand, which is Miles of Smiles events, you know, but I also want you to brand yourself. So I ask you to, you know, think about getting a, a photo logo um, and you had one done. And now that's been, it's synonymous with Deborah Colleen Rose. People um, love that too. I get yeah. so many compliments on that. It's amazing. And it, because they can see you inside of that signature, they can see you inside of the energy and the flow inside of that. I mean, you're you're a big a big person for handwriting, you know. And I w I was thinking, oh, she's gonna she's gonna like bulk at this, and I think that you went through what? How many? You went through like two or three different revisions. We did three. Re we we did two revisions, and I, the third one was the one I accepted, and it was because the, it went against some of the letters when mm -hmm. were negative not negative because there's no negative in handwriting, but they were not what I wanted in my handwriting. Yeah. So while it's not my actual handwriting, it represents the things that are strong in my personality if you dissect it. So, yeah. I mean, and so that's, that's now become synonymous with Deborah Colleen Rose. Yeah. Um, I, I did balk a little bit. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? I mean, once you explained it again, you took the time to explain it and it made sense. And then, and of course, I make a commitment when I hire someone, I, I either hire you or I don't. And if I hire you, I better follow your advice because I paid for it. And then if you screw it up, then we're going to have to have a, a powwow. Yeah. But I commit to following everything unless you ask me to do something like rob a bank or something yeah. like that. So, no. so what else can people come to you for? I, I know I ask you for help on everything. And if you can do it, you can. And if you can't, you tell me. But what else do you have people ask for? We have, I mean, when people find out that we do websites, you know, and SEO and things like that, I mean, their first question is that, you know, well, I, I want to rank higher. So SEO has probably been one of the biggest things that people come to us for, um, but they don't necessarily want a new website or whatever. So we can, you know, go through and we can evaluate the website and give suggestions and then we can come up with a package that you know will suit them for just seo um we have people that have had websites that they have not touched in like years upon years upon years they don't want it redesigned they just want fresh content and so we can help you know with them with the content and help you know with the seo inside of like what's already existing 
Um, but I mean, so we do everything from websites to all, all of the print media. So, um, you know, business cards, um, you know, placards, uh, door hangers, uh, door magnets, um, backdrops. I mean, we can do all of those types of things, table covers. Um, so we can take your brand um, and then just expand it, not all on your website, you know, virtually, uh, but also into like the print media. Then we also can do uh, social media. Uh, we can help with social media management um, and helping you get together a marketing calendar or a like a, uh, you know, where you want to place yourself inside of like Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all of these other areas and, and help you get a marketing schedule uh, together for, you know, driving traffic to your website or to another social media platform like YouTube. So, so basically we, think Vistaprint expanded to having a personal connection. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and a lot of times we can get, um, and just I'm patting myself on the back. I, I've done a <laughs> lot of connecting with um, different printmakers um, and, and printing supply houses. Um, and so I have made some amazing, amazing uh, connections. Um, and so we can usually, you know, get you a, a better price than a lot of the mainstream companies out there, um, you know, for, for your print materials. Awesome. Awesome. Because I know I've put in another order. Uh, I mean, Matthew's even having me some custom canvases made because one of our new services is that we're going to be offering with the KISS readings, people can also kiss a canvas and autograph it. And then at the end of the day, it's presented to the host and hostess or the the, the newlywed couple, or whatever. And we're having it printed up with um, uh, a new a quote about kisses. And someone asked me what it was yesterday and I couldn't remember it. I can remember the last name of the person that made it. His name is Metzger. And I... <laughs> I have it stored, so I can supply well, it to you if you need it. <laughs> like, oh my God. I do that all the time. If it's not my own words, I just kind of, I've never been good at memorizing things. I used to have a photographic memory. And when I had that last concussion, I lost the ability to do that. And so oh. I never learned to memorize. And so it's, it's really annoying. It's just annoying. So. Anyway, but so he's taking care of that as well. And it never occurred to me that we could do something that unique and that personalized and do it well and do it inexpensively uh, all at the same time. So, and these are art quality canvases. Yeah. I mean, and I love coming up with like just unique ways of presenting stuff. Um, so, I mean, when I, when I was working for an advertising company in Dallas, um, they literally uh, like assigned me like, Hey, listen, we want to, we want to create a billboard. And so I created a billboard and they're like, mm, that's not going to work for a billboard, but that would work for a banner that hangs like on the side of a building. Cool. And so, yeah. So I actually designed a banner for one of the buildings, downtown Dallas, that was like over two stories tall. So, I mean, it, cool. I mean, it, it, it you know, I, I love looking at new ways of doing things and coming up with creative, you know, creative solutions, you know, for you, whether it be, you know, your t-shirts or, you know, whether it be a, you know, door hanger that you take and you hang on the doors around town. Well, and we just came up with another new service and I said, I need a, I need a graphic for it. And he goes, okay, what is it? And I'm like, it's rock hound readings. And he's going, yeah. what? And it's, I said, basically it's a rock reading using the dog as the connection for the person. And the dog actually gets to pick the rock. So it's a rock hound reading. reading. So I can't wait to see the graphic he comes up with for this. And we've already offered the service and it was a huge hit. So I'm going to start promoting it because I yeah. just know all dog lovers and rescues and fundraisers, they need this at their event. They need it. They've got to have it. <laughs> and I, I do want to say the thing that makes um, uh, you know, metaphysical events and, and connection design studios unique um, is that we are part of the metaphysical community. You know, so when people come to us with, you know, uh, like, like, for example, um, yeah, I do rock hound readings, you know, we don't know. We kind of go, oh, tell us about that. What is that? 
you know, <laughs> we want to yeah, know. He treats me like I'm normal, not crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, but we do like the energy. We, we like to get behind it to find out, you know, kind of what's, what's driving them. What's the inspiration behind your business? Um, I think a lot of people look at it as just a paycheck and that's not what we do. We don't look at it as a paycheck. We look at it as how can we support you? You know, this is the things that we can do. How, let, let us use those to, to support you. And so I, I think as one of our final statements, I'm going to say this. Matthew is very diplomatic. And he is good at listening to your ideas and good at telling you when they're great ideas. And he's also good at telling you when they suck. <laughs> But he does it so well, you don't even know he's told you that until you hung up the phone. I'm like, well, he just told me that sucked. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so it takes a great person, personality to be able to connect to people that way, but also be able to communicate with them in a way that they hear mm -hmm what is being said, but they also feel like they're being seen at the same time. It is yeah. a give and take relationship. And that's what I like about it. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I do. I mean, I, you know, I've, I've been in situations myself where I was not treated that way, you know, and I would never want to put that feeling on anybody. You know, I want to be fair. I want to be the person that is going to understand, you know, what, um, you know, what people need. And so I will listen um, but you know, I've, I've gotten to that point where it's like, people have to understand that I have years of experience. So, you know, you have to take my advice sometime a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Why hire because, you if you're not going to listen, if you're not exactly. going to listen, why hire you? That's stupid. So I have taken the branding advice that he's given me and I'm, it's not that I ever question it. It's just, it's hard to adjust your thinking yeah. and just think on those, but I had a mug on my table that I put my pins in. And I pulled it out and I washed it out. And this is what I'm going to be drinking out of from now on. I may actually feel like a talk show host. Mm -hmm. You know, they always have their own little mugs and they always have their logo on it. And I actually do feel more professional. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's it's little things like that that I mean that that really, really, you know, explain who you are and establish you as a brand. Um, and that's what we want to do. We want to help people with that kind of thing. Yeah, well, I appreciate you very much. And mm -hmm. if you need a testimonial, I have given him a testimonial. Hopefully he'll put it on mm -hmm. his website. But you can also call me personally and I'll tell you exactly what I think. And I just think he's awesome. And Matthew is also part of our team at Miles of Smiles and other capacities. And we'll be doing some videos about some of all of that stuff later on too. So mm -hmm. tell them how to find you specifically though, your, your phone number, your website, everything that you want them to have. Okay. Well, specifically, I mean, uh, we are at connections, and that's a plural, connectionsdesignstudios.com. Um, you can get a hold of the, us there. Um, we have a form on there so we can kind of take a look at what you need. Uh, Metaphysical Events is the, uh, the mother company, I guess. Um, you can get a hold of us on there as well. Uh, both places have the phone numbers, the emails. Um, you know, there's ample ways of, you know, getting in, getting in contact. Um, you can get a hold of me at Matthew at metaphysicalevents.com. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, I look forward to helping you out. I mean, answer questions, consultations are free. Um, so, you know, please reach out. And Matthew's a doctor. I, I mean, doctor. He, he is a doctor. So mm -hmm. you get the best of everything. And I will say this in closing, the day our new website launched, uh, I had something on there that I've never had before, which is where you can do the email request and to get contact information on, and bids on a, an event. The first day our website launched, we got three inquiries within three hours. So I just thought that was, I was walking around on cloud nine. So I just thought that was great. So anyway, I'm Deborah Colleen Rose, isgu.com for private investigation, smiles of smiles events.com. If you need someone to come and entertain you at your event, wedding or party, and we miss you, Lou Ann, and we will see Bye. you next week. Thanks so much. Bye.